welcome back to the Alfresco garage at 22A. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted anything. I've been concentrating on getting the garage finished. Uh, but now we're going to start looking to try and get the car, the shell of Jimbo actually, into the garage. Uh, as you've all seen, the garage at the back of the garden. I've got a pathway down the side, and that's hopefully the route we'll be taking to get the car in. So we'll have a look at where we're up to with all that. The car's been on his side for nearly a year now, so we've got to get him back on the floor, get him on some wheels, and try and get him through. I'm probably going to film this over maybe a couple of days because there's different avenues I've got to go down. But we'll see how we can get it from the front of the house and into the garage. So I don't know if some of you remember, I had double wooden gates, a bit like the next doors there. So I've replaced them. So I've got two folding opening doors. I've removed the middle post. So there's the wheels we got from Tameside. Uh, that's leftover flooring I've got to get rid of. So hopefully we've got to get the shell and get it rolling and get it into the garage. Uh, as you can see, it's not level. There's four different levels. So it's going to be a task on its own. Uh, got to get the bins out of the way. There it is, covered up. So as you can see, got to get him on some wheels and get him rolled down the side and then get him into the garage. But like I say, he's been here. He's been covered up for the last year. The covers have gone everywhere in the weather. So it's going to be a case, I think, this of getting the garage, shell into the garage. I'm going to look at it and there might be other bits we've got to redo. I think it's going to be like starting a fresh sort of thing. Uh, but let's get him uncovered, get the bins moved, and try and get him on some wheels. So as we can see, I'm starting moving him away from the wall. Got him uncovered. Get ready to flip him onto the board on the wheels. Then hopefully be able to wheel him at least through the gates for today. If I can get him just through the gates and the gates back locked up today, that will be amazing. He suffered pretty badly through the winter. So I'll get all that dried and cleaned out. As I say, I think it's gonna be a, a kind of a second start really. Assess what we've done, where we're up to, and then we'll replace what's needed. So the next job is to get the board under, get him set on the board. So as we can see, that's the clubman. Now in Jimbo spot, we need to get this garden sorted, let the grass grow back. Got the clubman in. And as you can see, Jimbo's on his way home. Got him to the end now. Just need to get him up the little ramp tomorrow and into the garage. As we can see, come round the back now. He's ready to go in. Uh, where he's been sat on his side for a year. He's not deteriorated too much. We can get that cleaned up, but I'm going to have this side tight against the wall once it's in the garage. Now I'm going to get this post out, then hopefully tomorrow, the last lap, get him into the garage. But as I say, this side's not deteriorated too much. While well, he's been on his side for over a year. And then we got a bit of a casualty. We lost the balance, but we didn't lose it. We just twisted it so that'll come off and I'll put a new balance on. Uh, yeah. Anyway, get this post off, get him in, and we'll finish this video off. You'll have to excuse the ever breathing. We we'll just sort the post out. You can't really tell there, but 
to zoom in. That's where the balance is twisted, but like I say, that'll be easy enough to replace if I can't get it back out. But we'll have a look at that. So it's all ready now. So, close gone, gaps open, the garage is waiting for him. Well, guys, the day has come. I saw him a bit out of breath, but here he is in his new home for the foreseeable. I've got him tucked up tight at the front. Gives me room to access him at the back. Sorry, of poor lighting in here. Not sorted the lights out yet, but I just wanted to get him in. Out the weather. Once this all gets sorted, there's plenty of room to work around him. As you can see, he's home and he's in. So thanks for watching. As I say, it's going to be a start, part two. We'll go through it all again. But for now, I'm happy. Thanks again for watching.